please, Mr. Vilas. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أفحسبتم أنما خلقناكم عبثا وأنكم وأنكم إلينا لا ترجعون فتعالى الله الملك الحق لا إله إلا هو رب العرش الكريم ومن يدع مع الله إلها آخر لا برهان له به فإنما حسابه عند ربي إنه لا يفلح الكافرون وقل رب اغفر وارحم وأنت خير الراحمين صدق الله العظيم آج کا یہ پروگرام جیسا کہ آپ سب کو معلوم ہے बैक पेन एंशिया टीका पे है और टाइम की कंस्ट्रेंट्स को मद्देनजर रखते हुए इसको बिल्कुल हमने बड़ा मुख्तसर रखा है और मैं इसी के साथ अभी टू प्रोसीड फर्दर आई विल रिक्वेस्ट टू दी स्पीकर ऑफ द डे ऑनरेबल डॉक्टर शबीर अमान प्लीज डॉक्टर शबीर अमान बिस्मिल्लाह रहमान रहीम uh, back pain is a very vast topic and uh, whatever you say, even for days or months, it's, it, it looks deficient. I made a lecture for 45 minutes, but I'll go through quickly and maybe finish in uh, 30 minutes before, uh, because of that. Uh, before going that, I just give my brief introduction as I am new in the town. I did my... Uh, MBBS from Hebron Medical College, Peshawar. Then I went to uh, UK and did my FRCS from Glasgow. After that, I did my diploma at American Board from America. And as I was uh, very keen in the spine, so I did laser spinal surgery in UK. Then I went on to do my diplomatic uh, a diploma in orthopedic engineering from University of Wales to know more about the uh, mechanism of the body as you know the orthopedic is basically mechanics it's not only surgery but it's engineering also i did ao fellowship uh, from spine uh, from canada with professor bele in ontario i was faculty in royal college of surgeons in one of the conference and then i was faculty in one of the conference in uh, Arab International Congress conference in Cairo. Basically, uh, uh, I have a little bit of 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 a back and at the age of 40 we made it what we deserve it. So, and low back pain is as common as a flu. And it's only second to the headache as far as pain is concerned. It is as painful as piles and sometimes crippling as stroke. Four out of five adults experience in its life, lifetime and can occur for no apparent reason. And the most important thing which is the crunch of this lecture would be that surgery is not always needed. Let's go to the history. It is as old as the history of the mankind. 50,000 years ago, back pain was treated with the swana bath, which is now similar to our hot water bottle and um, hot water bottle and heating pad in orthoped in the philosophy department. In New Stone Age, acupuncture was a method which is still in Europe. Some places it's still practiced. 
inversion therapy in 400 BC. There was a therapy that a patient who has back pain, they should just hang upside down and the pain would go. Back pain in the 16th century, this is a cruel method that you, you just tie the patient and put a slab on it and hang with it. But if you see, in our, our villages, still, uh, old people who had the back pain, they asked their kid to walk on the back. So did, this was in the 16th century. Bloodletting. It was one, one of the methods and I have the personal experience that one of the patients, old lady in Peshawar came to me and she said to his son who was educated and she said, if this doctor is doing the bloodletting, so that the chap who, who was the son just uh, indicated that yes, you, you just tell, tell her that yes, do, do, do that. So I told that lady to Bibi, it is only bloodletting which will cure you. And I asked my assistant to bring two, uh, two syringes. One syringe I gave to my assistant and asked him to put every rubbish, anything, tea, coffee, whatever you have available, fill it up with some fluid. And the second thing, I asked the lady, just face towards toward the wall, and I put the needle in the below the knee, just to prick. And then I st start squeezing her uh, thigh, and say, oh, 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 both gand hai, both gand hai. Believe me, that she was came in with the pain, and she was walking out with, without pain. And I showed her that, look, this was stuff all in. So that still is going on. Uh, one of the uh, doctor in Peshawar, he is doing all these things. Chiropractors in 19th century, then osteopathy came in 1892, cupping for the back pain. It is also practiced here in Islam, Islamabad also. And one, one foreign, foreign lady, she was very thin and she was used to have this for one year and ultimately she died. Don't know how she died, but she died. Mardan Baba. There is, there is a Baba in Mardan who put a, a heart a iron on this and the pain get cured. Then there is another person, Pata Baba. That's, they, they put some leaf, toxic leaf on the foot and this is the end result. The reason of showing all these methods is that if there are many methods of uh, many ways of treating one disease, it means nobody understand what's going on. And whoever whoever see whatever is there, they just go for that. For example, this laminectomy. This is also cruel. Laminectomy is not answer for the back pain. Nobody knows the exact cause of the back pain. Let's go through the causes. Over 100 different causes and Doctors rarely be able to diagnose what it is and mostly they label it non-specific back pain. Most of the causes need the patient attention. Rarely needed the doctor helps. Lack of exercise. I'll go quickly through the causes. Sedentary lifestyle. Overweight. Pregnancy. Posture, poor posture, furniture, <coughs> lifting, smoking. Smoking is also a, a, one of the causes in the back pain. Depression, workplace due to furniture and due to bus. Footwear. Now you tell me, all these causes, is there any need of any doctor's help? No. We all have these faults and we go to doctor. They give us non stylant inflammatory painkillers, one, second, third, four time and then they change the doctor and change the doctor and change the doctor and this circle goes on. Whereas if we address these causes, there will be no back pain. Now coming to the causes in the spine. Injury that may be to disc, vertebra, ligaments or joint, deformity which may be congenital or post 
trauma, disease like cancer, HIV, TB, others, degeneration, spondylosis, prolonged use of medic medicines like steroids, gynecological and neurological disease. And again, if you look all these causes, we know only one cause, that is disc. If you have a hammer in the hand, everything is nailed in. We doctors know only the disc. The disc is the cause for the back pain, whereas it is not. False positive findings on the MRI. If we, there are many studies. These are the studies which they did on the asymptomatic, asymptomatic volunteers. And all these studies prove that there are 60 to 76 percent, which is a huge figure, 60 to 76 percent, there are findings on the MR scan. And if you look at this, this scan, even the root, root deviation and compression, there are the patient with the nerve root compression and they are asymptomatic. Another interesting thing they did, they did the, they, they selected the high risk patient, high risk people like uh, uh, people who have the bending, twisting jobs, vibration jobs, heavy manual worker, they selected all those people and in those group, 76% were false, false positive reports. So what we do, if the patient say, I have the back pain going down to the leg, it's a sciatica, okay, do MR scan. And they do the MR scan and there is a finding and next, next step is surgery, which is totally wrong. Because if the 76%, 76% MR scan showing the abnormalities, which is not the result of the result of, which is not the cause of the pain. So why we should treating that? But everyone here just go for the MR scan and surgery, and then then they they just weep for for their whole of life, because the surgery which is done, it is not indicated, and the cause which was there, because the pain was coming from somewhere else, not from the disc, and it still remained there. So double double uh, uh, loss. Now we come to the diagnostic triage. What, how many types of the back pain are? This simple back pain or lumbago, nerve pain or sciatica, then serious spinal pathology, spinal emergency or cardiac pain. These are the four types of the back pain. Simple back pain, which is mechanical in nature, varies with the physical activities, varies with the time, and affects the lumbosacral, buttock and thigh area. It doesn't go below the knee. And it is most common in 20 to 55 years age group. Patient is well, prognosis is good. 90% of the acute attacks settle in 6 weeks. 60% one recurrence within next year. And recurrent attacks do, do settle in 3 to 5 years. Specialist referral not required. It, is, it is, heals on its own or it can be treated by any GP. Narut pain or sciatica. Unilateral leg pain, which is more, which is worse than the uh, low back pain. Numbness or paresthesia in the same direction, radiates to the foot or toes. Five percent of the back pain patient have the this sciatica. Prognosis reasonable if no severe deficit. Fifty percent recover in six weeks. Recovery rate is slower than the simple back pain. Special referral if not settled in six weeks. Special referral not required unless signs of severe or progressive weakness. Third, serious spinal pathology, which is if the patient is below 20 years or above 55 years, then we suspect that he should not have the back pain, focal back pain. It's non-mechanical, thoracic pain, past history of carcinoma, steroids or HIV, unwell and weight loss, structural deformity. One less than one percent of the back pain people have this type of back pain. Special referral mandatory and recommended. Tests are needed to make diagnosis. Often these tests are negative. Specialist advises on the best treatment, rest or activity avoidance. Cardiac venous syndrome is an emergency. If the bladder is dysfunction, saddle anesthesia, poor inner tone, maybe foot drop, and gate disturbance. Specialist consultation immediate and urgent. Cardiac venous syndrome can be caused by prolapsed disc, fracture, cord compression tumor, 
require urgent and urgent surgical decompression. Review of the literature and new strategy for sciatica. So I'll just go quickly through that because it's a, uh, time is short. But the, the literature is full of, full of the evidences that the back pain doesn't come always from the there are many other structures, disc collapse is one of the causes, but there is a cons considerable evidence on the clinical effectiveness of discectomy for the carefully selected patient. The stress is on the carefully selected patients with sciatica, caused by the lumbar disc prolapse that fails to resolve with the conservative management. If there is a failure of conservative management, then only then the surgery should be performed. Understanding the natural res resolution and its failure is important. There were study of more than 500, 500 uh, articles which in, in the first, in the last century, the many heterogeneous etiology were existing in the first half of the century, but in the second half of the century, the disc was the main, main uh, cause because of the MR scan and other modality which, which show us that this is the reason. And tendency to prefer the organic and visible abnormalities rather than the clinical examination. Whereas the clinical examination is still the gold standard. There are many cases that on the clinical examination there will be nothing but on the uh, scan and MR scan and other things there will be loads and loads of abnormalities. So we should rely on the cl clinical basis and we should treat the patient not the uh, investigation. The inclination to trust the technical technical diagnostic results more than clinical judgment. That's what I said. Patho, patho anatomy of the back pain. So there is no time frame that uh, in how much time. This is the crime that if you see intervertebral disc and the posterior joint, this is a three X and the pain comes from all these three places whereas we concentrate only on the right hand side the in intervertebral disc which is circumpatient tear and then radial tear and it goes and goes to discectomy. Whether if you see on the left side there is synovial reaction, cartilage disc destruction, osteophyte formation, laxity and then it comes multi-level spinal stenosis and we don't, don't address that one and we just address this one and even when we are addressing this one the compression is not, not the reason in the next slide you will see that main these are the two, two pathways which I showed one on the right this is the disc bulge this is radial tear Natural recovery, it is widely held belief that 80 to 90 percent attacks of the low back pain recover within 6 to 8 weeks irrespective of the intervention. So whatever you do, it will settle in 6 weeks. And 90 percent of the patient will have stopped concerting their GP with symptoms within 3 months. Surgical versus conservative management, faster functional recovery but 90 percent of the patient get the same result in 2 years. Understanding of the disc degeneration, I'll just skip through this because it's boring and the time is short. I'll come to this stage, the clinical, clinical staging of the sciatica, there are three stages. One is sensitization of the, of the nerve, which is detected by the nerve tenderness. Second is the stretch, uh, nerve stretching, which is the SLR, reduced SLR. And third is the compression. These are all... chemical mediators. Disc, the pain coming from the disc is not only from the compression but it is, a, it is mainly from the chemical mediators, prostaglandin, leukotrienes, interleukin 1, beta and tissue necrosis factor alpha. These are, the, these are the causes for the back pain. Compression is not, not necessarily a cause of back pain. But over, as I said before, that over reliance on the structural investigation as the scan explains the pain unwarranted. These are all the studies which, which is on the chemical mediators which affect the nerve. Key findings are the herniated nucleus pulposus contains biologically active 17 DA monomer of tumor necrosis factor alpha and nerve root injury and pain is caused by the tumor TNFA. Inflammation caused by the TNFA is an important mechanic, mechanism of the radicular pain. Production of pain behavior changes with experimental risk.
this is the slide which is which is, if you see cytokines they when uh, join the cytokine receptor and the inflammation is caused but if you if you block these uh, uh, cytokines chemical mediators by either monoclonal antibodies or soluble receptor then there will be no pain and no signal and no pain so sciatica biological management that sciatica can be managed by medication alone this is the message of today that sciatica can be managed by medication alone and days are ahead when surgery will only be indicated in the cauda equina syndrome selection of the case is important to avoid avoid the adverse effect biological management of the spondo orthopathy as an extension application of the new strategy i just skip through these coming back coming to the the ways of treatment there are eight ways of treatment when to operate ideally intervention should be based on the amount of inflammatory mediator its resolution and not time frame but unfortunately today we have no functional biochemical scan identifying the modality mediators clinically as we go by time so there is no investigation that we should we should confirm that how much how much mediators are there and so that then we go for the time if the patient is not not getting better in 6 weeks 8 weeks then we go for surgery if we have any any investigation which can assess the mediators interleukin and prostaglandin and this uh, tumor necrosis spectrum and all these then we we can rely on those eight ways of this coming to the end eight ways of treating lower back pain and sciatica first is do nothing medicine third is physical therapy fourth spinal injection fifth is minimally invasive spinal surgery sixth is micro discectomy seventh is laminectomy and discectomy and eighth is spinal fusion so do nothing carry on normal activities pain hurts but it's not harmful use it or lose it if you use the if you use your muscle it will become become better uh, there is a study that the two group of people were treated one with the rest and one with the activity the both got better but the end result was the, with the result with the rest group was that their muscle were become were atrophied and here i have an example here that one of one of our colleague is sitting here mr basi i don't know from x ray department he i came this morning and he had big this philadelphia collar philadelphia collar and i asked him who who gave you one of the neurosurgeon have given us i remove it and he said i am using it for the last 3 days i said just remove it now and get get some physio and he was better in the afternoon because his muscles were wa get wasted and the more you use it the more muscle will get weak and your uh, uh, vertebra will go down the disc will bulge and so all this vicious circle so the uh, the philadelphia collar is only for the fractured neck or if you suspect there is a fractured neck and you you don't have the scan or you don't have the x ray only then use the philadelphia collar same with the lumbar support lumbar support is harmful and many surgeons they just recommend the lumbar support which is harmful third is a bed rest which is harmful these all these three things make the patient worse rather than make it better second is medication that's paracetamol muscle relaxant non steroidal inflammatory and tramadol third is physical therapy fourth is injection facial joint injection nerve root injection epidural injection and intradiscal injections they are very safe and effective acupuncture which is not not very good here in pakistan due to the hygienic reason or maybe the needles but in the europe they they are again using this method minimal invasive spinal surgery which is becoming popular and i was the i was the first muslim american diplomat who did this minimal invasive surgery in in 1998 micro and decompression and laminectomy this is the only only method which is applicable here that everybody is going for discectomy which is the seventh method six methods they have been omitted they have no physiotherapy they have no injection they have uh, no medication and just on the first visit first visit mr scan and this discectomy and end result is then decompression and fixation this is the end result 
new modalities of discogenic low back pain and sciatica. Minimal invasive spinal surgery is an awake and aware state surgery with a with a with a precise targeting of the patient with the pain generators. And when we when we do this minimal invasive spinal surgery, patient is awake. Patient is not under general anesthesia, it is under local and you can communicate communicate with the patient. I'll just show you the few few photographs of these. This is uh, minimal invasive spinal surgery, which is just one one stage or sometimes we don't get the stage. Take home message. 90% patient can be treated non-surgically. 60% MRI scan findings are false positive. Time is not for when the, for when surgery will be. Time is not for when surgery will be. Sorry, time not, not for when surgery surgery will be only for the cardiac equina syndrome. It is not. It will not be for the disc. It will be only for the cardiac equina syndrome. And if the conservative measure fails, then the best option is miss. <coughs> Minimally invasive spinal surgery. And miss is always best. So not, never go for the open surgery. Thank you very much. Any question? <laughs> I'm sorry that I just skipped through some slides, but as time was short and just uh, 10 minutes left for the start. So any questions? And if there are any questions, I, I can give it in, during the... Uh, yes, please. Sir, thank you very much. You have given a great lecture here and it was informative. But I have a question in my mind. You have told me eight methods. Yes. But if we do medication, etc. and surgery, if we omit it, do you suggest that exercise is also one of the parts? And how do you suggest that exercise is one of the parts? That's come in the physical therapy. That's come in the physical therapy and exercise is mandatory. Exercise is mandatory. If, if you do exercise 20 minutes a day, three times a week, you will never get a back pain. And and other thing is that if you perform perform the salat, namaz, according to the sunnah, okay. according to sunnah, you will never get the pain. I'll explain to you that. For example, you have, you must have seen when some people go raku like this. Correct. In, so it, there are there are 21 21 facet joint on one side of the uh, spine and 21 facet joint other side and they open and close. So if you if you don't bend 90 degree, so they close half and then they uh, open half and then they close half. So similarly, every time we go do this and we at least 32 times we go and 32 times if we do like this half half moment, so the half moment which is left become stiff. And then you must have seen that, that when we perform like this, we don't don't do that. The knee joint is not bent, and we we get the back pain at 5s1. So exercise is the best one. And uh, as uh, uh, there's a new article coming in the Maruf News that sleeping on the left side, sleeping on the right side, um, hand on the right cheek is. Uh, it was advised to us by our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 1400 years ago and those who sleep on the back straight they get the back pain and those who get the sleep on the stomach they get the back pain only only group which sleeps on the side they don't get the back pain so exercise is mandatory any other question and it's just five five minutes left if there are any question I'm, I'm there we can we can talk uh, during the start but any question Yes, sir. These basic things should be you know, in mentioned in the conflicts uh, and that should be distributed to the general public. Yes. yes. Tomorrow, morning, tomorrow morning there will be these, these things. 3,000 uh, will be coming in the dawn and uh, uh, news and uh, young newspaper. So this leaflet will be distributed. That would be good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very uh, informative. Thank you very much. Any question or we should go for the Aftar? Any question? I read once that the animals who do not have an erect posture yes. don't get back in. Any comments? Uh, yes, because if you if you see uh, our posture is upright and uh, disc and vertebra 
air like this. So there is a pressure on the disc and uh, uh, wear and tear and disc will go back and press the nerve. But if you are like this, if I'll give you the example that anybody who is overweight, just one kg, just one kg overweight of the ideal body weight, he, he put a pressure of 10 kg on L5 S1 vertebra, vertebral disc. So you can imagine if somebody is 10 kg overweight, so 10, uh, 100 kg load on the disc and disc will shrink and then it will lose, lose its uh, fluid, radial tear will occur and bulge will occur and it will get a back pain. So uh, the, the, the uh, animal who has four legs and walk like this, they don't have the so the reason is that upright posture is putting the pressure. Just even a 1 kg overweight, put 10 kg on our L5S1 and 5 kg on each of our uh, knee, right and left knee. And if you, if you, if you see that uh, we sometimes sometime walk, stand like this in, in, in the Salat. This is, this is putting a pressure on our L5S1. So uh, this is all mechanism. Is back pain is basically all mechanics. If you, if you uh, care your spine well, you will never get the back pain. Because four out of five get the back pain. Why that fifth one doesn't get the back pain? Because he, he must, have, must have cared his back, so he's not getting the back pain. Thank you. Any question? Yes.